What's up everybody, my name is Denobi and today I'm going to wish you guys first a happy New Year's. For New Year's, I decided to share with you guys my money making method in Project New World. With this method, you can make over $9 million per day. In Project New World, of course, not in, not in real life. I mean, I wish. I, I really wish. And scenery change. <laughs> hey guys. All right, for this method, you're gonna need one of these four fruits, snow, tremor, gas, or paw. For the first method I'm gonna show you guys, is gonna be with snow because it is the fastest way in my opinion to get the money. But other than that, if you guys don't have one of these four fruits or if you guys don't have enough money or even levels, you're in luck because I will show you guys my AFK money level guide for those who are at least level 90. The requirements are level 90 and basic combat. I'll show you guys that at the end of the video, but first and foremost, I'll show you guys the leveling method with the snow fruit. The method will take place at Arlong Park, which is at the bottom right, level 90. You do though need at least 750 stat points into fruit. The reason being is that you want to one shot one of these guys with any one of your abilities. And with that, everything is ready. Now you want to open up your auto macro, tiny task, whatever you use. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, uh, to do this AFK, you're going to need something called an auto macro what i specifically use is tiny task if you guys don't know what that is you guys can search that up in youtube to get a tutorial it is called tiny task t-i-n-y-t-a-s-k it's basically a program that presses buttons for you anyways you want to get your auto macro tiny task whatever you use and you want to press record on your hotkey when you do that uh immediately you want to send out your snow tornado down this way your whole the whole point of this is to get three of these guys down and the last two, which is to the right and to the left, you want to send out a sphere on one of them and a glacial slant on the other. And they should all be done within seconds, okay? And after you do that, you then want to press E on the quest giver and accept the level 90 quest. And as soon as your snow tornado goes off a of cooldown, you end your task. I'll show you guys exactly how it looks like with tiny task enabled. I'm going to record now and send out my snow tornado Get that guy, get that guy, accept the quest again. And as soon as the Snortinero cooldown goes off cooldown, like that, I'll end the task and I can now uh, replay the task just like so. And just like that, just gonna keep on repeating over and over again. That was within eight seconds. So you can see just how much money you'll get. You get around 6,000 plus per minute. Times 60 equals per hour, times 24 equals per day, which is 9 million per day. But that is the method with the snow fruit. I'll show you guys the method with the other fruits. It's all pretty simple, it's all pretty the same. You just wanna defeat those five uh, fishmen as fast as you can. And for the next method, it's going to be with the gas fruit. And you actually only need level 185 or fruit stat level 550. Basically, what you want to do is that there's going to be a fishman in the middle of all four of these guys. And you want to aim at his left butt cheek. And then you want to cast your V, your gas decimation. With this, it should hit all five fishmen. That's pretty self-explanatory. So basically, to do this with Tiny Task, you want to hit record, immediately press your gas decimation, your V. Accept the guy's quest, re-aim yourself at the guy's left butt cheek, and cancel the recording when you're ready. And then it'll rinse and repeat. It's just like the last fruit. It's not much different. It's just to show you guys what the gas fruit looks like. Next, I'm going to show you guys the paw fruit. All right, next will be the paw fruit. With the paw fruit, you want to use your paw nuke, which is the V, uh, near the right foot of the guy in the middle. This should hit all four of these guys. And the last guy, which is going to be at the paw, at top left, you want to hit with the red paw, as you guys can see. And then the rest, you know, red paw, paw shot. Uh, the reason he didn't die in one shot is because I still only have a uh, free level 550. But if you want to put more in, you guys can. And with that, uh, as long as you can one shot him, you can do it faster. Well, uh, that worked. So basically with Tiny Tass, it'll look like this. Uh, I'm going to re hit record and immediately use my V and then use my... Nuke on that guy, accept, and then as soon as that guy spawns, I'll stop it and replay it, just like so. 
again it'll just rinse and repeat so i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the last fruit the tremor fruit all right for the quake fruit it's going to be a little bit more tricky i'm going to go ahead and put 750 into the fruit of course you can have uh, a little less or a little more or a lot more you can of course have 1200 if you want basically what you want to do with the quake fruit is that you want to instead of looking towards these guys you want to look towards the boss but you want to be as close to the fishman as you can so i'm a little bit too close to the quest giver i'm gonna go a little bit to the right of it and as you can see i'm as far right as i can be while being able to take the quest and the reason i do this is because when i use the quake tsunami it should be able to hit all five of them if i'm like talk if i'm if i'm right next to the quest giver it will miss one of these guys and it's gonna be annoying so that's why you want to be as far right as you can and the reason you face the boss is because when you use Quake Tsunami, it'll hit all five of these guys, but it'll also hit the boss. So basically, once that happens, you want to use your Shock Ball to knock the boss away, which will give you enough time to use another Quake Tsunami, which will give you enough time to use another quest. And then you can actually accept the boss quest when you kill uh, Arlong with uh, Tremor Smash and Tremor Launch and another Shock Ball. It'll look something like this. I'm going to go ahead and hit Record and use my Quake Tsunami right away. And then as soon as, as you guys can see, it hits all five of these guys pretty easily. Uh, and then I'm going to hit Arlong away. And then I'm going to go ahead and accept another quest. S smash spam my V. I could have timed that a lot better. That's fine. I'm going to hit Arlong away. And I mean, that was a little tilted, but that's also fine. And now when Arlong gets a little bit more closer, I'll, uh, should have timed that better too. Oh, well. I'm going to accept the shark boss quest. I kind of lost out on some money there because um, I'm dumb. But basically, if you do that, if you, if you time that right, do that right. Do a little bit, little bit of practicing, maybe more stats, less stats, do whatever you want. But it, it's basically that simple. Like I said, using the tremor fruit is a little bit more difficult than the other fruits because of attracting the boss. But if you get down the timing right, you can do it. I'm not going to do it in this video. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and explore exactly how you should do it with the stat points that you guys have allocated. But my, my personal recommendation is just sticking with the other three fruits, unless you really like tremor fruit, which you can just use tremor, tremor if you want. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the method of leveling up and getting money with only being level 90. Now, of course, this is a lot slower than the methods I've shown you, but it is noob friendly. It's perfect for the beginning. I've used it many times in the beginning on my many different accounts. So with that being said, uh, you're gonna need at least 250 stat points into combat. That's all you need, 250 stat points in the combat. Where this method will take place is the method directly after the starting area, the level 40 buggy island area. Okay, the reason we come here is because these guys, well, this guy specifically, is close enough to the quest giver to where you can actually hit him with heavy punch. And when he gets close enough, resume with ground smash. As you guys can see, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just accept the quest, use your abilities on this guy, and you do that about uh, four times to when the quest is complete, and then you want to stop your recording. It'll look something like this. Of course, I'm not I'm not recording it right now, but like I said, it really is just that self-explanatory. And with this, you should see around maybe a million gold in in like ten hours or or a day even. Um, but that is that should be enough overnight. If you do this overnight, you will 100% have enough money to buy one of the rare fruits that I showed you guys in the earlier part of this video. But like I said, that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope this has helped you in any way. If it has, drop a like, leave a follow. I really do appreciate it. Uh, the reason why I haven't been posting much is because there's been a lack of games to play on Roblox. So there's been a lack of videos for me to make. But since I'm here, it is now the 1st of January for me. So new year. It's a new year. Uh, not new me, but hopefully I'll keep at it with the videos, especially with the new games coming out like Arcane Odyssey. Uh, it should be playing that. And I'm actually really excited for this year when it comes to Roblox anime games. I hope you guys are too. And like I said, I hope this video has helped you guys in any way. If it has, I'm glad. That's your, there's your New Year's present. Give me my New Year's present. Five bucks, each of you. No, I'm kidding. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace. I think I'm in love, say it way too often. I can't play these games, think I 
switching up the offense. Give me in LA, I be moving cautious. I can feel no pain rolling up. I'm so exhausted. I be so exhausted.